So for this company, the cost for the first 30 meters squared that we're going to use is $50 per meter squared. So we've got 30 meters squared times the $50 per meter squared gives $1,500, $1,500 for the first 30 meters squared of glass used from this company. Now the next part of the question talks about a discount for the remainder of the glass. Now the discount is 20% off of $50. So we're going to do 20% of $50, which is 0.2 times 50, giving us a $10 discount for each meter squared for the rest of the glass. So our discount then is a $50 original price, take away the $10 from the discount is $40 per meter squared for the remainder of the glass. Now remember that there was 48 meters squared of glass to begin with. We had 30 meters already calculated here, so we've got 18 meters left. 18 meters squared times the $40 per meter squared gives us $720. If we add the two costs together, again, for the first 30 meters squared and for the discounted 18 meters squared, we have $1,500 plus $720 gives us a total cost from this company of $2,220. Compared to the cost from the previous company of $2,244, we can see that it would be better to buy from Translucent since it's a better price. So our solution to this problem is then that the smallest perimeter occurred when the length was 6 and the width was 6. And in general we can conclude that the smallest perimeter for a rectangle occurs when the length is equal to the width and the shape of the rectangle with the smallest perimeter will be a square. Now we have a similar example here where we have a fixed area of 144 meters squared and we have wooden planks that are going to create a large ice rink where there's going to be some three on three hockey being played. We need to find out the smallest length of wood that needs to go around the outside so the smallest or the minimum number of planks or minimum amount of planks possible to create this rink which again has a fixed area of a 144 meters squared.